We've got an update now to the story of a man killed in a hit and run accident on Christmas Eve. Dion Emery's family didn't find out he had died until about a week later, and they were upset with the Detroit Police Department about that. So what went wrong? Victor Williams heard back from the DPD and has the update. Well, when we first brought you this horrible story about this Christmas Eve hit and run, we told you that the family of the victim was trying very hard to figure out why exactly they were never notified by police. But today, DPD is now shedding some light on what went wrong. All they had to do was come here and notify us. That was Patricia Rutland on New Year's Eve shaken up that she was never notified about the death of her only son, Dion Emery, who was tragically killed by a hit and run driver on Christmas Eve at the intersection of Schoolcraft and Greenfield. Her family had to put the pieces together on their own. Captain Derek May with DPD says that should have never happened. We shouldn't have an issue like that. According to the captain, Dion didn't have any ID on him during the time of the accident. Police, however, did find his wallet nearby because of the impact of the crash. Because of the extent of Dion's injuries, officers couldn't make the connection. And they couldn't distinguish if that was the person or not by viewing his ID. Their concern was false notification. Nevertheless, the captain says someone should have taken the time to reach out regardless. There could have been another avenue of investigation that you could have induct, conducted. You didn't necessarily have to go there and make a death notification, but you could have went to the location and said, hey, do you know this person? In the meantime, he wants to apologize to the family for the miscommunication. I just give my sincere apology on behalf of um, my unit, the deepest apology. Now, Patricia says she's in the process of filing a citizen's complaint, but they are still on the lookout for whoever hit Dion and just kept on driving. Remember, it is a blue colored car, more than likely a Ford Fusion. Victor Williams, Local 4.